Hey you guys, I hope all is well. I just wanted to come on here very quickly and talk about some dents that ha that I have of fragrances that I've been I've been wearing. Um so just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of these six fragrances that I have here. Just wanted to show you some of the dents in them. Uh I do have My Way. This is from Giorgio Armani. This is my um, Dior, J'adore. This is Burberry. Um, this is the uh, Burberry Rhythm. This is Allure by Chanel. This is, you guys know this, this is Valentino. This is Born in Roma. And this is Ariana Grande. So let's first start off with the uh, My Way. So I'm not going to go um, through any notes in this video because there's no need to. Uh, you all have heard me uh, give a rendition of the notes of each one of these fragrances but this is my way this is my um 3.4 bottle i think this is a 3.4 ounce i do apologize um yeah this looks like it's a 3.4 ounce there it is on top there actually it's a 90 mil so you can see it right here my camera, yeah, there it is. It's a three ounce, be fluid ounce. So this is the dent that I have so far. So yeah. So yeah, so I'm really kind of making headway on this one. This is a beautiful fragrance. I really like the intense, and I think there's a my way, um, a my way low. Not low, uh, le, le my way, le intense or something like that. I'm not sure, but there's an intense version of this one where it's like an ombre, um, uh, you know, design on the bottle. Uh, here is blue, and then as it goes up, it, it turns a little pinkish, or it may very well be the other way around. That one smells beautiful to me. I don't have that one in my collection, but I do plan on getting it. But this is a very nice, very beautiful fragrance. Um, and so... Um, you know, I'm just trying to finish it out. Uh, still have a long way to go, but I'm, I'm trying to use much of it as I can, as much of it as I can, uh, because I want to try that, that other version of it. The other, um, uh, what do you call that when they do different versions of the fragrances? You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I'm sorry, I'm a little tongue tied tonight, but, uh, yeah, I want to finish this up and purchase the other bottle. So that's going to be my way. The next one that I have is this one right here. This is Shador, none other by Dior. And this is the Eau de Toilette. I love this one for some reason. I do have the Eau de Parfum, which I think is also very beautiful. But for some reason, I, I think the um, Eau de Toilette is extremely gorgeous. And the thing about the Eau de Toilette Sorry, you guys. The thing about the eau, eau de toilette is that, um, sorry, my, my throat is dry, um, is that it lasts very long for an eau de toilette, which I'm not surprised because Dior does make, you know, their perfumes with high-end ingredients and products. So I don't expect less from Dior, but this is very, very beautiful. If you find the Eau de Parfum to be too strong, I would definitely recommend trying out the Eau de Parfum. This is the 3.4 size, and if you could see, you know, I like to wear this a lot. This is one that I wear to work all the time. I wear all of these to work. I wear all of them to work, um, but this is one that is very beautiful, and it does stay on my clothes for a very, very long time. So as you can see, it's one of the six out of all of these here. It's one that, you know, I'm, you know, I've used heavily because I really enjoy wearing this. I have purchased the, um, the Eau de Parfum, as I stated, I have that one. And then one day I tried the Eau de Toilette and I thought it was just as beautiful and, um, you know, not as heavy. So I decided to get it. Right. I decided to purchase it. And one day my, um. My sister-in-law was over at my house and she really liked it. She was trying it and she's not big on perfume, but I could tell that she really did enjoy it. So I went ahead and per and gave her the bottle. So this is just a bottle that I have since purchased, not recently, but I purchased it just to replace the one that I had given to her because I couldn't resist not having this one in my collection. So definitely check this one out. 
Then the next one that I have is this one right here. I did uh, preview this one as well as, you know, some of these other ones in my tray uh, where I talked about some fragrances I was trying to finish up. Uh, this one is from Burberry. And if I'm correct, I think this one is called Burberry Brit Rhythm, if I'm correct. This is definitely the 3.4 ounce. This comes in a 6.8, 6.7 ounce. I do have that. But I think this one is called Burberry, what is it called? Burberry Sheer. Oh, I'm sorry. This one is Burberry Sheer, Brit Sheer. Excuse me. There's the name there. Yeah. So this one, you know, I'm almost done uh, using as well. Look at that then. So I'm almost done with this one. I wouldn't say it's halfway, but it's definitely almost like a third of the bottle is almost gone. And this one I experienced years ago. I had a, um, a, a um, co-worker of mine that wore this one day. And I was like, what is that? And she was like, it's Burberry. She didn't tell me the name, but she did ex She did express explain the, the detail of the bottle. And so one day I went to, I think it was uh, Lord & Taylor a few years ago when Lord & Taylor was still in business. And they had it. And I went ahead and purchased it. Um, but when I purchased it, I bought the 6.8 ounce and it was just too big. It was just too big for my hands to hold. And I wanted all my bottles to be the same size on my vanity. So I went ahead and picked up this one. This is a 3.3 ounce as you guys saw. And, um, yeah, I still have the 6.8 ounce bottle, but this is a very beautiful, um, pretty, uh, feminine fragrance to wear. Uh, it's a little different. This one is definitely a little different than the um, fra other fragrances that Burberry has has done. I really like the Burberry line because they have a range of fragrances, if you will. Not all their fragrances smell the same. So if you wanted to try something that's different from like the Burberry Her or the, the Body, you know, some of their other fragrances that they do have, I would definitely recommend uh, trying this one out, trying the Brit, the Brit line, if you will. I think there's Brit Sheer, there's Brit Rhythm, and there's another one. Definitely check them out because they're, they're pretty nice. But yeah, this one is one that, um, I've certainly made a very huge dent in since my, uh, since last featuring it in that, the per perfume tray video that I did. Then the other one that I have, you guys have definitely seen this one. I don't know why it's taking me so long to finish off this. This is Chanel. This is Allure. This is one of their forgotten treasures in the Chanel line, the Chanel Allure. They also have a one called Chanel Allure Sensuel. I have that one as well, but... Excuse me. I really, really, really love this fragrance. And I learned of this fragrance from working as a teller. I used to work for a um, a bank years ago. And uh, I'm not going to say the name of the bank, but it didn't have any windows, if you will. Like, you know how they have the windows to, like, protect the teller, you know, from getting robbed or from people jumping over? It was one of those banks that, that didn't believe in having windows and, and the... Um, you know, the, it was an open space, if you will. So I had this customer who used to come and do uh, deposits for the business that she worked for. And she had on this one day and I asked her, you know, what's the name of the perfume that you have? And she told me it was this, and that was years ago. I was, obviously I was much, I was younger then. And you know, a lot of young girls would not have, you know, considered wearing this because, you know, you know, Chanel has, has been rep reputed excuse me, has a reputation of, you know, is reputed for having, you know, uh, fragrances that, you know, you could say smell old lady-ish, if you will. I don't mind fragrances like that. I wear fragrances by, you know, Elizabeth Taylor that may very well be considered old lady-ish. Um, Alfred Sung that may be considered, um, you know, old lady-ish. Um, Estee Lauder, you know, their fragrances tend to be considered more vintage or more mature, if you will. But this is a very beautiful fragrance. And I think this is one that is um, not highly um, popular. It's not as popular or highly talked about like, you know, the Mademoiselle, you know, and the Chance line. And But this is, this is fantastic. If you get a chance to, you know, get to a Chanel counter, I would definitely try, you know, uh, checking out the Allure line. At some point, I was getting nervous because I thought they were going to 
discontinue it because you know, it, like I said, it's not that popular. But I did repurchase this one already, and it does come in an eau de parfum and, and an eau de toilette. I think this one is the let me see. This one is the there. Yep, this one is the eau de toilette. Uh, the eau de parfum is also very beautiful, but I've I um I like to wear this version of it uh at work because it's a little bit lighter. So yeah, so that's the eau de eau de toilette, and you can see that I don't have much there. It's taking me a long time to finish it. I don't know why. It's not like I'm saving it because, like I said, I do have a another bottle of it, but I just have to get through this one, um, so I can um take this bottle out of my collection. Then we have the Valentino. This is born in Roma. And um, you guys, you know, you guys know that this is one that is very popular in the stores. This is beautiful. Valentino Roma is extremely, extremely beautiful. I think this is one that was um, considered to smell just like the Prada, Prada, um, what do you call that? That new Prada that came out that ha that looks like the, uh, that's the triangle. Um, Paradox, Paradox. I think everybody was saying that the Prada Paradox smelled like this or it smelled like the My Way. I don't know. I think it was one or the other, if, if not both of those fragrances. But this brown, Born in Roma is beautiful. I um I have a co-worker of mine. Well, I had a co-worker of mine who wore this one day. And another co-worker asked her, what are you wearing? She said she was wearing this. And I was like, oh, you know, and I had this in my collection, but I never wore it. I have so many fragrances. There are some that I really don't, you know, get a chance to run through because I have so many. So I was like, oh, she smells so beautiful. And and I, I didn't know, I didn't know it was this. I didn't know it was this because like, yeah, like I said, I had it in my collection, but I never tried it. So I started wearing it, you know, you know, just a few times and whatnot, trying it and it, it smells so beautiful on my skin. So, so yeah, you, if you could see there is a dent in it, you know, cause I kind of like started using, if you see there, you know, there's a dent. So just trying to get through this one as well, slowly, but surely, but this is a very beautiful fragrance. And for those of you who don't know, um, this one has since come out with a new Valentino, um, uh, fragrance. I think it's called Valentino Stravaganza. Yeah. Mm hmm Excuse me. I do apologize. I'm nursing a, um, a toothache, but this one, it's a, it's in a green, the liquid is green and it's called, uh, Born in Roma Stravaganza, if you will. I was in Macy's the other day and I tried it. And I'm going to get it. Um, I didn't really try it long enough. I think I sprayed it on a strip. I didn't spray it on me. I sprayed it on the strips. And I have since have thrown the strip away. So I can't really remember how it smells. But the the, the green, uh, 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 you know, uh, of um, fragrance color is so beautiful. It's a bottle that I want in my collection. So I will be getting that. And last but not least, I have this. This is Ariana Grande. This is obviously cloud. Um, take a look at that dent. Yeah. So I really, I wore this today to work. I really, really, really enjoy wearing this. I did a recent video where I talked about this and I said, this is such an easy grab. I don't know what it is about this, but it's so easy to wear this one. And I'm not so big heavy on coconut because I think this one has coconut, but this is such a beautiful fragrance. It's supposed to be similar to Baccarat Rouge. It's not Baccarat Rouge, obviously, but it's supposed to have some DNA of Baccarat Rouge. But if you, you know, can't afford Baccarat Rouge or you don't like Baccarat Rouge or whatever the reason is, I would certainly recommend trying this. This is very beautiful. You can never stray wrong with this. And I don't think it's offensive at all. Um, and it lasted very well on my skin. I was able to, because I wore it this morning when after I showered and I went to work. I did my eight hours at work, came home. I didn't, I couldn't smell it after I came home, but throughout the whole day while I was at work, I was able to still smell it. I mean, obviously it's been more than eight hours since I've been, been at work. So of course, you know, the scent is going to dissipate, but this is a very beautiful fragrance. This is an Eau de Parfum. This is an Eau de Parfum, and I do have the Cloud Intense as well as the pink one that came out. So I like Ariana Grande fragrances. I think she does a very good job. Yeah, it's a 3.0, uh, excuse me, it's an Eau de Parfum, it's a 3.3. Um, I think she does a very good job with her fragrances. I didn't get God is, is a Woman. I, I don't have that one. And there's another one, a few of the other ones that I don't have, but I do like the Cloud line. Mm-hmm. 
I do like the cloud line. And I think Ariana Grande is one of those um, celebrities that does take her time, you know, to come out with good, you know, good smelling fragrances. And, and I, I like that about her, her fragrance line. So, you know, most of you probably are familiar with this. It's not it's nothing new, but, um, yeah, I'm trying to get through this one because like I said, I have the intense and I have the pink one that recently came out and, um, definitely, you know, if you're, you know, a young girl or, you know, a teenage girl, I think that this is something that you could wear, you know, to go to high school. This, this is appropriate. It's not, it's not, you know, sexy, like, you know, back out at Rouge or anything like that, but it is very pretty. It's very, it's, it smells very nice. I really enjoy wearing this one. I think this is something that is very playful, is very nice. Um, you know, any, anyone can wear, anyone can wear this one. You can wear it to bed, you know, you can wear this, you know, pretty much, you know, to work, wherever, however you want to wear it. But this is definitely an easy grab. And that's why I, you know, I'm halfway, you know, almost uh, done with this, with this one. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and show you guys some of my dents because, like I said, I have a large collection and I'm trying to do my best to get these out of my collection. Not because I don't enjoy them, but only because I want to try, go through, you know, my other, my other bottles. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys, um, you know, are well and, um, you know, I'll see you at the next one. And if you guys have any, you know, suggestions about videos you would like me to do, I was thinking about doing a Valentino, um, collection so you guys could see what I have from this, um, designer. Let me know, um, if you want me to, you know, do any other type of video and I'll do my best to get that out for you. Just let me know in the um, description down below. All right. In the comments down below, I meant. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice evening. Goodbye.